Hello and welcome back to another Bootleg Boomerangs video. Um, I was looking through some of my old comments on some of my older videos and I saw on my prototyping video a comment left by a friend of mine over at the Projections YouTube channel. Um, be sure to check him out, he makes some awesome stuff over there. So the question he left was, he was wondering if I could show the process of how I make my boomerang prototype sometime. And I thought, yeah, that'd be a really cool video to make and uh, explain to you guys how I come up with these prototypes and these new boomerang models. Really what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a few supplies, of course. You're going to most importantly need um, some plywood, of course, because that's what you're going to make the boomerang out of. Um, you're going to need a ruler to mark off dimensions, get straight lines, measure wings properly. Um, you're going to need a pencil to, of course, draw the boomerang model or shape onto the plywood. And then you're going to need a frying pan, um, usually metal, metal frying pans, um, usually the heavier, the better. And um, I usually like my frying pans with a little bit of uh, grip. On the handle that usually helps me out in my design process and um, and most importantly you're going to need a light bulb this light bulb does not need any specifications um, all it really needs to do is um, have the ability to light up um, and that's pretty much all you'll need for the process of at least coming up with the prototype that you're trying to build what you're gonna want to first do is take the frying pan of choice that you picked out and proceed to smash it onto your forehead. Um, so yeah, this is arguably the most important part of the design process. Um, as you saw there, I made pretty good contact with my forehead with the frying pan. As you can see, I am out cold. That's usually where you want to be around. Um, you can give yourself a mild daze, but I usually find myself getting better results if I knock myself out cold and um, if you successfully do this you should have no problem getting to the second phase so as you can see here I'm moving on to step two of the process um, as you're standing up you should notice a light bulb that you grabbed earlier uh, it should appear above your head um, you usually have to wait a second or two for it to turn on as you can see mine turned on pretty quickly which is always kind of nice um, a good way to tell if you hit yourself hard enough is if the lights are too bright for you when you come back inside. That's usually a telltale sign that you're on to a that you're doing good. Um, then you can move right on to the third step. The third step is definitely the easiest. All you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the creation that you have just made. Oh my god. It's it's beautiful. Thank <laughs> you.